What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John 74, and today I'll be talking about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Wow, it's literally been a long time since I last talked about that game, and every time I say the name, I just feel like I want to puke, man. So, anyways, a lot of things have been leaked about this game, and it's not about the gameplay, it's not about the maps or the weapons, it's actually about the pre order numbers. Now, as you can see here, there are really low. 30,000 people are going to be playing this game on both sides, both PS4 and Xbox One. I know by the end of this video, they'll probably be like at 45,000 or 40,000, but that's it. If you go over to Black Ops 3, I heard they actually had like around half a million by this time, which is on May 2015. So, um, and how do I know these stats are real? I actually went through like some YouTube channels out there. They actually report on news, like on Call of Duty and shit. And I did check out the sources and it's actually true. Wow. 30,000 pre-orders. What the fuck? <laughs> you know? And uh, right now, currently on Black Ops 3, I think there's like around uh, 200,000 people playing. So, um, yeah. Out of those 200,000, 30,000 people pre-order the next COD. Maybe like around 20,000 of those people that pre-ordered Call of Duty Infinite Warfare are actually from MLG. And then the rest of them are just randoms that are just like, you know, about to pre-order something else. Like, uh, for example, they're about to pre-order Battlefield 1. And then the GameStop guy is going to be like, oh, hey, have you pre-ordered Call of Duty Infinite Warfare? And then you're going to be like, no, what's that? Well, um, if you pre-order, you know, this game is a cool, badass, sci-fi, you know, futuristic game. And, you know, it has a lot of weapons. It has explosions and everything. Michael Bay, you know, they start throw in a pitching cell and it successfully works i don't know how people actually fall for those kinds of things but i always say no like no later on dude don't don't tell me about the story about you know call of duty i don't want to hear it <laughs> so um so yeah man like people need to realize that not pre-ordering is going to show them you know it's going to show activision that we don't care about the next game and we don't care about the next plans they're trying to do to call of duty because we all complained we all did with black ops 3 saying that we don't want no futuristic shit we want the current you know time modern warfare or maybe a world at war would be nice that would have been a great move because right now battlefield one got my pre-order but what the hell is Call of Duty? I'm not going to freaking pre-order that game. What's the point? And also, I'm thinking like quitting Call of Duty because what's the point in, you know, covering Call of Duty Infinite Warfare if everybody's going to be on Call of Duty 4? So um, that, that also affects me. So, I mean, I'm going to move on and I'm not going to pre-order this game. So there goes my number into not the pre-order. So, um... So yeah, man, hopefully Activision learns about this. Hopefully they are actually looking at these numbers because in the beginning, you know, when they were like talking on Twitter, they said they don't mind about the pre-orders. They don't, they're not going to worry about it. And well, it pretty much shows right now they need to worry about it because at 30,000 pre-orders, I'm pretty sure you're not going to make enough money to pay all your directors and, you know, creators and developers. So um, yeah, start doing your job, Activision. So that's it, guys. I don't want to talk about. Hopefully, Activision gets a slap in the butt and learns from their mistakes. So that is it, guys. If you guys want to hear more Call of Duty Infinite Warfare news? Please subscribe for more because it's going to be more stuff coming up.